everyone, it's Melinda and I'm very, very excited to do my video today on Charoite. Um, definitely a favorite of mine and uh, kind of newly popular uh, in the crystal selling world, particularly in the metaphysical world. It has taken the stage <laughs> recently um, and is quite popular. Um, and you can probably see why, especially by looking at my uh, cut point. It is so beautiful, absolutely stunning. Uh, not just the color, but the swirls inside, um, mind blowing. Uh, so certainly one of my, uh, you know, current favorites, and I'm very happy to share it with you. <clears throat> so, charoite is a rare silicate mineral. It was first described in 1978 and named for the Chara River. So, previous to doing my research on this stone, on this mineral, I actually uh, called it Caroite. <laughs> uh, I totally thought the H was silent and uh, Roit just sounded nice. I don't know, that's just the way my brain kind of perceived it. Um, but for this video, I wanted to learn how to, you know, say it properly. Um, and I found there were so many different, uh, you know, versions of s pronouncing this word. Um, so I decided to go straight to the source and I watched a, uh, it's like, uh, touring around <laughs> Russia, uh, kind of video and it was in, uh, Russian and, uh, the gentleman goes to the Chara River. And he speaks very, very quickly, but from what I can gather, he's pronouncing it Chara. Um, and since this mineral is named after Chara River, it only makes sense that it would be pronounced Charoite. Um, yeah, really, really cool. I'm glad I know that. I think that's a good piece of information to have moving forward. Um, <clears throat> so I think I'll start by showing you my little tiny tumbled stone. This is my... Uh, first little acquisition of charoite. Um, teeny tiny because this material, as I said, is quite rare um, and therefore can be very expensive. And it will inevitably run out because it is only found in this one little area. Um, so when I hear stories like that, when I learn about uh, a mineral or a type of rock, that is like that, <laughs> I, you know, I just want to get at least a small piece into my collection. I, I am a obsessive collector and I like to have at least a tiny little representation of as many minerals as I can collect. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so that's why my first specimen is still very, very pretty and certainly shows off the charoite, uh, you know, texture and shimmer and all of that, but it's just a teeny tiny little piece and it does have a lot of, uh, like undesirable material in it. Uh, again, why it would have been <clears throat> tumbled into a little tumble stone and, and, uh, made very affordable. Um, <clears throat> so let's get into the details. So charoite, uh, has been reported only from the Alden Shield, Saka Republic, Siberia, Russia, one particular area only. Uh, it is found where a cyanite of the Murunsky Massif has intruded into and altered limestone deposits, producing a potassium feldspar metasomatite. <clears throat> really neat. And charoite is translucent lavender to purple in color with a pearly luster, as you can see. Um, it is strictly massive in nature and fractures are conchoidal. So what this means is it grows, and there's actually pictures online of it, uh, it has formed almost like big, thick, you know, chunks of it, not in crystal form at all. Like you would not, this is, there's absolutely no doubt that this is a cut point because it's just simply does not grow this way. And a lot of our points, um, have been cut and polished. Um, and when we're new, we don't always realize that fact. We kind of assume that, you know, most minerals grow in crystal points. That's actually 
not true at all. <laughs> but oh my gosh, look at this beauty. This is my recently acquired uh, piece. Uh, it was purchased from my friend Alyssa, who owns a beautiful little um, witchy metaphysical uh, mineral shop. Um, <clears throat> it's called Wildwood Witchery. And she is on Instagram. She's absolutely lovely. She ships really fast and she has wonderful uh, polished and kind of more whimsical uh, minerals and items. I am a lover of the science of geology, but I'm also a little bit whimsical myself, so I absolutely love her shop. Um, yeah, and that's where I recently got this one. It is stunning and I believe she still has a couple more if anyone's, uh, you know, really keen to grab one up while they can. Because, uh, like I said, this material will not be around forever. Um, I mean, it'll be around forever in people's <laughs> collections and possibly um, <clears throat> being sold from people's collections. But at some point, it will run out in its host rock and uh, the prices will go even higher. So if you just fall madly in love with the stone like I did, <laughs> it's best to try and find yourself a little piece while you can. Um, and this is actually a nice thick piece. Um, it's not pure uh, charoite. It does have these nice globs, beautiful crystals of quartz within it that I absolutely love. And there's almost like a, I don't know, an uneven but still a band throughout the middle. I just think that's really appealing. Very beautiful. <laughs> All right. So charite has an unusual swirling fibrous appearance that is sometimes chatoyant. And that along with its intense color can lead many to believe at first that this is synthetic or enhanced material. There were many people in the <clears throat> rocking world that thought this material uh, it was man-made or uh, synthetically altered in some way and it is absolutely not it is natural just as you see it and these swirls i mean <clears throat> i am a, a painter by trade that is my <laughs> profession and i gotta tell you when i first saw this material i was blown away it absolutely looks like um pearl paint and purple paint just kind of swirled together, maybe using like a toothpick or something. Um, <clears throat> I feel like I could certainly reproduce this texture using paint and that just, you know, utterly blows my mind um, that, 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 you know, our beautiful Earth Mother created this stunning, stunning rock. Absolutely amazing. So, though reportedly this uh, mineral was discovered in the 1940s, uh, it was not known to most of the world until its description in 1978. Um, <clears throat> it is said to be opaque and unattractive when found in the field, a fact that may have contributed to its late recognition, um, you know, in the mineral and trading world. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I have seen, and you can certainly Google for yourself, some pictures of it still, you know, almost, it almost looks as if it's like in a road cut. Of course it's not, it's a quarry, but, um, it, it looks like very opaque, creamy purple stuff. It certainly does not do it justice until it is polished. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Let's see if I can get closer. There we go. Isn't that absolutely amazing? Okay, so charoite occurs in association with tinexite and canasite. And like I said, it is a very rare mineral that is only found in Siberia. The occurrence um, is in potassic feldspar metasomatites at the contact of nepheline and agarine cyanides with limestone. So, um, charoite forms from calcareous uh, deposits transformed by heat, pressure, and injection of special chemicals, which are alkali-rich intrusions of nepheline cyanite. Um, <clears throat> this process is known as contact metamorphism and is thought to be a common phenomenon in geology. 
Given that the forming mechanism is quite simple, it has never been fully understood why caroite occurrences are uncommon and limited only to the small region from which they are mined. So, <clears throat> in layman's terms, or a little sl more slowly, Melinda, um, the type of geological occurrence that creates this really unique, incredible, uh, you know, specimen is actually not that... Um, uncommon at all. It's actually a very common process in the geological world. Um, so there are a lot of people who are totally baffled as to why this material only formed in that small area of Russia. It's just really mind-boggling and it makes this material even more, I don't know, alluring and fascinating. I just absolutely love it. We'll give it a little bit more of a close-up. Oh, come on, focus for me. There we go. Oh, wow. And it does shimmer. It's got like a pearlescent kind of shimmer. I don't know if that comes through. But isn't that just stunning? Incredible. Lots of quartz on the side. Too neat. There we have it, Charoite. All right, I hope everyone enjoyed that as much as I did. I really found the research fascinating on this one. Um, yeah, so uh, again, I hope you, you know, stay tuned for my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.